Hi guys, how are you doing today? My name is Devin Martin. I'm an application engineer with Trimec, and uh, today we're going to be going over using blocks and uh, the design library. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new file here and start sketching a little bit. Now if you're not really familiar with what blocks are, basically they're just um, a saved, saved sketch entity or entities that you can use later. Uh, you can make a block from any single or a combination of sketch entities and you can insert those in and then keep drawing off of them. So maybe it's a, a file or a, a sketch that you constantly find yourself redrawing over and over again. Uh, by creating a block out of that piece, you can just click and drag it in the next time you need it. So even if it's just the start of the sketch, you can get that beginning piece over with, out of the way, and then keep drawing off your block. So to create a block, it's under your tools, and then blocks right here, and you're just going to go to make. And then once you click on make, select all the sketch entities that you'd like to include in the block. You can see I've got them all there. You can even edit the insertion point here. So maybe I want to make it the center of my circle. And uh, just hit OK. And once I hit OK there, I've got a block that's made. And you can see that it's now, instead of a blue sketch, it's a gray sketch. I'm still editing the sketch, but the block is gray. So if I draw some circles here just to kind of show you, I'm still in the sketch. They're blue. The block is gray. All right. Let's get rid of those. I can also, now that it's a block, click uh, anywhere and drag it around my screen. It moves as one item. Um, next, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm actually going to bring in my blocks toolbar. If I right-click blank space up here um, and bring up my selection of toolbars, I can use pretty much any of these, just turn them on. I'm going to turn my blocks toolbar on there and go ahead and dock it on my command manager. This will let me really easily make new blocks, insert blocks, uh, save a block, uh, so I can bring in a saved block if I'd like to. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to click insert block and insert the block that I've already made and really easily put it in there. So now this block has been added and I can dimension between the points in those sketches. So even though it is a block, I can also select individual entities as well. So right now if I were to click and drag that block I grabbed, you can see it's still kind of floating around there. Um, I'll add a vertical uh, or a horizontal constraint to that horizontal relation there. So now it's, uh, it's horizontal and add vertical to those uh, two center points. So now I've got two blocks in here and they are fully defined. So I can just go ahead and exit the sketch and we'll just do a extrude here all right and now that we're extruded uh, that was the basics of creating a block uh, from a 2d sketch and using it what I'm going to do now is we're going to ed edit that sketch and we're going to look at that block and I'm going to show you kind of how to put that block into the design library uh, where you can quickly access it and just pull it in ne next time you need it. So you can see here I've got my blocks uh, design library folder already added and what I'm going to do is just click this add to library button up here. When I do that it asks me for items to add and if uh, I open this up, you can see I'm editing that uh, feature there. So I'm just going to select the block, and what it does is it adds the block in. And uh, I can change the name of that block, so maybe it's uh, my standard link that I use daily. Um, and for that sketch, I just pull the standard link in. Um, and now it has been added to my design library. So if I go over there and look, you can see... I've got that standard link and I hover over it and it'll even show me a preview. So now I'll make a new sketch over here on my top plane and pull that uh, standard link out from the design library there and you can see the block uh, it's already added and I can go in and dimension from it and add relationships to it. 
uh, really quickly and easy, and I don't have to go through and redraw, redimension that entire shape. So I might have mentioned a little earlier that uh, blocks were good for a couple things, and one of those things were uh, logos. So if you put logos on any of your 3D designed parts, um, using the design library and blocks uh, to create a sketch of that, uh, that logo um, would be a, a really good use for blocks. So here I've made the Trimec logo, um, and it's just a block. I started a sketch. And all I've got to do is put that on there and change the extrude. I'm going to do a cut, change that cut depth there. And there's a the Trimec logo really quickly put on the part. Um, something that would normally take me a, a little bit longer to do the first time or if I'm doing it uh, every day, maybe, maybe not quite as long. But, uh, but still, it definitely saves you time there. Um, so I've got a a bunch of blocks that, that make up this entire part here. Everything coming from my design library that I've, uh, I've set up. So next time that you're working on a redundant sketch or thinking about putting a logo in, go ahead and turn it into a block and save it in your design library for next time. Make a, a whole process really quick and have everything at the ready. I hope everyone enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Have a great day.